Alrighty guys, welcome to another day of um, uh, working on my car and doing uh, dealership things. So today I have installed my Moog uh, LCA bushings which are for a DC5. Um, they fit in perfectly fine. Um, let's see. I don't know if you can see them. Right here. So they fit in fine, they pressed in fine, no worries at all, not a big problem. They were a little longer as far as the, uh, the center hole length, so putting them back in, they don't just like slide into the DMs like I do your girl. Uh, they uh, kind of have to hammer them in a little bit, a little bit of finesse, but they do fit. Now, I was going to do the rear bushings, but there are... I'd have to be doing those. Um, what else? Here, here, as well as back here for the rear trailing arm. Um, I don't have time to do that today, especially since technically I'm supposed to be working today because it's Monday. And I'm technically the only detailer, but yeah. So the front's in. Um, and then I'm doing my thermostat right now. Uh, as far as doing the uh, LCA bushings, as far as doing the LCA bushings, guys, it's really simple. Like, I got the LCAs out on my own rather quickly. So, um, kind of like what I right, did. So, what I ended up doing, there's this bolt down here, which is a 17. So, you'll have this bolt and this bolt, which is a 14. You'll take off uh, the sway on both sides, obviously. Uh, that's a 14, and then to take off these three which are the um, ball joint these three hold this so you just take this off keep everything connected I kept everything connected I only took off those two and then you are good to go so you just repeat that on both sides and you are you are done um, and then as far as thermostat goes this is obviously the OEM Honda one. And this is a new one. Mishimoto, it's a 160 degree thermostat. We're gonna put that bad boy in right there. And then I gotta put in a, put in a, uh, obviously coolant. I'm using uh, Toyota OEM red coolant. It's good coolant. It's probably one of the better ones that comes factory in cars. And then uh, I will be done. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I am done. Okay? Deuces. So I'm almost done. I installed the thermostat, which took all of 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'll show you here in a second on what you would need to do. Um, I resealed my clutch gear selector thingy. Um, I'll show you that here as well. But the Moog bushings are installed. I'm not doing the energy suspension rear because that is literally going to be an all-day affair. So I want to have to request the day off probably to do that. I'm still debating if I even want to do it because I just, I don't know. I'm still debating. Um, so yeah, the only thing I really accomplished today was the Moog front bushings as well as the, uh, the thermostat. So I will hit you guys back here shortly when I actually button everything back up in the car. Is However, in the meantime though, um, so yeah, I cleaned this up. Um, if you guys ever saw one of my videos where I helped fix like the, the slop that comes in the eighth gens, um, I took this off and didn't reseal it, and it started puking oil. So I resealed it, and then the thermostat. There's three bolts. Takes off. You'll have to get one from the top or two from the top, and then one from the bottom. So you do have to get underneath the car to do it. But like I said, this is a 160 degree thermostat. Uh, which should help keep the uh, engine temps a little bit cooler, especially out here in Arizona. Alright guys, a little update after doing the thermostat and the uh, coolant bypass mod as well as the Moog spherical bushings. So the thermostat and the reason why I'm doing this, uh, it's a 160 degree thermostat instead of a 180 like the OEM. solid 
good upgrade to do. Uh, and yeah, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, the install is super, super 